I'm Daryl again. Today, we will perform the second performance task, the macrame coasters. These are the following materials. Now let's start! First, I will use this red hook for my metal and tie it each side to secure my coaster. Now let's begin. To measure a cord, we will use a ruler. We need 48 inches per cord. So 12, 24, 36, and lastly, 48. After that, we will cut the 48 inches cord. To start, take your 48 inches cord and fold it in half and attach the cord to the metal. Now this is called Lark's Head Knot. It is often used in macrame to attach cord. So this is the final base. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of lark head that measures 48 inches. So today we will be using the same knot that we use in macrame planter, the square knot. Okay, now let's start with the first two lark head knot and form a right over and left over. Now pull this up tightly, left, over, and right behind. Continue this in the other four, large said knot. including this, this, and this. So here's the first square knot that we did earlier. Next, we're actually leaving two pieces of cord each side, but you continue on as before. So here. Now start making square knot. Now you're accomplishing a cute triangular pattern throughout your macrame coasters and also attaching the two knots from this side and this side. Now let's proceed on the second. This is the second chords. Third chords and fourth chords.
So this is our first row and second row. For our third row, we actually using these two cords that we left off and start making knots here or square knot just like we did on the first row. Now make sure you start your square knot is below on the second row. And continue the process. Now, as you observe, we are seeing triangular result here. Now, continue this alternate process by making end-to-end -end and square knots where you leave off the first and last chords. Now, for your final row of a square knot, make sure that you're doing end-to-end. -end. And make sure you're not leaving off those two chords as you did on the alternating rows. In order to achieve that, you have to make sure the number of rows is uneven. So in this case, I created 11 rows. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now here's the final piece with six rows of square that are going end to end and five rows that alternate and leaving those two last chords. And now we are ready to cut off and remain two inches of the string. After cutting the strings, remove the coasters from the metal. And slip it off. not those larks had not after unfurling them cut the loop here And now cut your desired length the same as the other side. Make sure to tighten the square knot both sides to secure your coaster. After that, you can comb it for some style. Or this arrange it to make it more 
stylish and nice to touch just like a foam okay trim for the excess cord And here's our finished product of Macrame Coaster.